Hi guys, Saran share. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about the electrical engineering department of IIT Bombay and how can you go there on the basis of your GATE score and do your higher studies from the electrical engineering department of IIT Bombay. So let us go to the academic division section from the home page and click on the electrical engineering department link. So from here, first, uh, as has been our flow of the videos in this series, first we will see how you can get an admission, what is the eligibility criteria. So from here, we will go to the postgraduate admission criteria and the links to the information brochure are given on this page and the direct uh, information is not given here. So, I'll just open the document which opens from, the, from those links and from here we can see Electrical Engineering Department offers uh, various specializations that is uh, in Electrical Engineering there is Communication Engineering, there is Control and Computing, then there is Power Electronics, then there is uh, Electronic Systems and then there is Integrated Circuits and Systems. Then the another is solid state devices. So the eligibility criteria for these specializations is different and uh, starting with the communication engineering, the eligibility criteria is you should have a BE, BTEC in computer science, IT, ECE or electrical engineering or you can have an MSc in electronics and uh, electronic sciences or physics. For control and computing, you, you can have BE, BTEC in aeronautical, Aerospace, Computer Science, IT, EC, Electrical, Energy Engineering, Instrumentation or an MSc in Electronics or Electronic Sciences, Mathematics or Physics. For Power Electronics and Power Systems, you can have uh, BE, BTEC in uh, Computer Science, IT, EC, Electrical and Energy Engineering and Instrumentation Engineering. For uh, Electronic Systems, you can have BE, BTEC in Biomedical Computer Science, IT, Electronics and Communication, Electrical, Energy Engineering, Engineering Physics, Instrumentation Engineering and you can either have MSc in electro Electronics or Electronic Sciences. Then for the Integrated Circuit and System Specialization of Electrical Engineering Department, you can have BE, BTEC in Biomedical, Computer Science, IT, Electrical uh, Engineering, ECE, Engineering Physics, Energy Engineering, Instrumentation Engineering or an MSc in Electronics or Electronic Sciences and for the last solid state devices you can have a BE, BTEC in Computer Science, IIT, Electronics, uh, ECE, then Electrical, Energy Engineering, Metallurgical Engineering, Material Science and Engineering, Instrumentation Engineering or an MSc in Electronics or Electronic Sciences or Physics. For the first six specialization choice in electrical engineering, each candidate is permitted up to three choices in the order of his or preference. All admission procedure will be conducted only for the first three choices. Okay, and candidates having two years of relevant work experience are exempted from requirement of GATE score provided their candidate is sponsored by the employer and they will not be eligible for teaching or research assistantship. So you would need a GATE score along with these uh, requirements for each specialization then you can apply to the electrical engineering department of IIT Bombay. Now let us get back here and see the main part which is the focus of this series is the research which is going on in the electrical engineering department of IIT Bombay. So we have specializations in communication and signal processing, control and computing, power electronics and power systems, microelectronics and VLSI and electronic systems. Okay, so let us take, let us see one of the branches control and computing. So in the control and computing department there are 21 faculty members and uh, the work is being done on automatic control, computational methods, system theory, graph and metroid decompositions, cryptography, coding theory, dynamical systems, uh, Grobner basis methods. So and these are the faculties which are working in this department. 
these are the projects which are going on and these are the research labs so let us see work of one of the faculties dr madhu n velur and uh, his research interests are control theory dissipative systems graph theoretic methods decentralized control behavioral theory control fault diagnosis so as we have seen in the previous videos we'll go to the google scholar profile in order to read some of the papers and see for ourselves what kind of work is being done and from those papers then make our make up our mind to work in this particular field so let us read one of these papers computing the radius of control controllability for state space systems uh, we can read the abstract from here and find out what the work is then you can further research upon is in uh, on this work in order to set up your mind for this field so in this paper they discuss the problem of computing the nearest uncontrollable system to a given control system represented by matrix pair ab in order to do so they construct a sequence of structured matrices from given system matrices and the controllability of the pair is equivalent to the condition of the null space dimension of an approximate matrix in this sequence so a great level of ma uh, mathematics is also required in this field and you should definitely consider if you are good at mathematics a great level of work is being done in this particular field of the electrical engineering department control and computing is generally a very good area to study because there are a lot of applications in the practical domain so now let us move on to the next research specialization which this department offers is microelectronics and vlsi so uh, in the microelectronics uh, specialization the work which is going on are in the areas of physics technology characterization modeling simulation design and cad tools so uh, these are the faculties which are working in this specialization and these are the pro projects which are being taken on so a great number of projects are being done uh, in this particular domain because uh, it is a need of the hour to work on microelectronics and to develop indigenous microelectronics in india so a good amount of projects and spending is there on this field and a good number of labs are also there for this field so let us see one of the uh, profiles of uh, professor D uh, sovik mahapatra and his research interests are electrical characterization modeling and simulation of micro nano electronic devices nbti pbti and hot carrier degradation in mosfets high k gate dielectrics advanced cmos device reliability flash eep roms floating gate and these are his research interests now let us see his google scholar profile and let us read one of the papers he has written so let us read this paper negative bias temperature instability in cmos device so i myself uh, i am from mechanical background so i may not be, not be knowing uh, the in depth uh, knowledge about this thing but uh, you should definitely people from electronics uh, should definitely read these papers and uh, they can know about uh, the fields which they can go into and can make their career in so this paper reviews the experimental and modeling efforts to understand the mechanism of negative bias temperature instability nbti in p mos fets which is becoming a serious liability concern for analog and digital cmos circuits so this is uh, some is a paper which is based on the practical work practical problem is there that reliability concern is there for analog and digital cmos circuits so they are analyzing nbti in p mosfets so this is the kind of work which uh, the people from electronics background can read and i am telling you that the need of the r for india is to work uh, rigorously on developing indigenous microelectronics and indigenous sensors and indigenous uh, controllers so that machines and everything can be automated by using the products which are made in india so that is why this level of research is going on there in the electrical engineering department of iit bombay 
and if you want to participate in such kind of work of nation building as well as to give a boost to your career you should definitely take this choice of studying higher degree from uh, electrical engineering department if you are uh, a person from electronics background or electrical background and uh, your pedia can help you in securing a good place there and you can take our consultancy where we can help you with the sops the sors the lors and all other things which you would require for your application so please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for all the future updates Thank you.